Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We are releasing VDB Window Fire, which has 25 different drag and drop ready window fire animations. And I'm gonna show you how to use them in Redshift, but you can use these in pretty much any render engine or application. When you download it, every asset will have a VDB sequence for the fire, and then it will also have an Alembic for the ember particles and one for the window geometry. So if we grab the window geometry and we hold shift and drag it in, let's make sure that this is set to as polygon object and set to meters we'll hit okay and you can see that we have a window and the wall so i have a brick texture which is from our redshift mutating bricks pack so you can grab those if you want to but we're just going to throw some brick textures on here really quick all right let's grab our particles next and these are also an alembic file so we're going to drag them in hold shift and then let go but on these we're going to change the points to particles because this is a particle geometry so we'll hit okay make sure those are set to meters as well and now we have our particles and you can um, shade these differently depending on what render engine you have in redshift it's very easy you just add a render tag an rs object and then it has a particles tab. You can change the particles to optimize spheres so that they render quickly, and you can change the scale to like 0.1. And then you throw a glowing texture on here, and these will be your embers or your particles. All right, but let's uh, go ahead and do the VDB first. So we'll go back to our VDB uh, sequence here, and this is a low resolution. We have a high res as well. I'm doing this one just for the tutorial, so it's a little bit faster. We're gonna drag it in, hold shift, let go, and we have our density and temperature channels. Also, just make sure you change the scale to meters and hit OK. And now we have our VDB animation. So this is really cool. You can see in the viewport, everything looks awesome. All right, one thing to note is that we have it kind of hitting the edges of this bounding box and it's kind of making this hard edge. So there's a couple things we need to tweak in the settings. So when you uh, get this pack, we do have a Redshift preset and a Octane preset and they have all the settings set up so you can just copy and paste them if you want but i'll show you really quickly how to set it up so you're going to make a new material and you're going to make a volume material and you're going to put this onto the volume loader and open that guy up there's only a couple things we need to change in here under the the uh, scatter we need to add the smoke which is called density so we're going to go to the presets and the volume loader and we'll click density if we do that this is going to bring in our smoke all right, so we have our smoke. That's because we put the density into it, but we're gonna need to put the fire and that is the temperature and you put it in the emission. So under here, under presets, volume loader, we're gonna put the temperature and sometimes you might have to just hit refresh on this, but that's gonna bring in your fire. All right, so obviously this is way too hot, but there's a couple settings that we're gonna change. If we go to the advanced tab here, there are all of these remapping um, options in here and you're gonna have to play with these, but thankfully I already have these all set up for you. So this is the preset scene that you can grab. And if you open this up and go to the advanced tab, here are some of the settings that we played with to get a nice look. You can just highlight all of them and hit copy. And then we'll go back to our other scene and since these are already highlighted, we can just right click and go to paste. That's gonna paste in our remapping values and you'll get something like this. So you can play around with the old min. If you drop that down, it's gonna bring in a little bit more of that fire and flame look and it's already looking really good. So anyway, feel free to play around with these, but one other setting that makes a big difference, if you go back to that basic, there is this tint under emission, and this one also uh, gives you quite a bit of control. So if we turn this to red, you can see that you can make a very stylized type look, but if we go to something a little bit more orange and hot, you can see that we're getting a much more realistic look, whereas if we went all the way to white, maybe it's not quite as saturated and doesn't look quite as yellow and fiery. So you can play around with that tint and then play around with some of these settings in here. And then you also have your embers in here, which you can go ahead and throw a glowing texture on there to get your sparks. So that is the beauty of our Fire VDB animations. You get a fully three-dimensional uh, simulation that you can just drag and drop into your scene with a few settings and it looks amazing. We also have five other fire packs with lots of different options. If you don't want window fire, we have ground fire and bonfires and all kinds of stuff. So make sure to check those out. All right, that is our window fires pack. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.